And we're back. I'm Brian Altano. This is Max Scoville. This is Up at Noon Live. And we have been going all hour long through the five worst reviewed games of 2015. And we've come to an amazing point. One, we're not actually live. No. Because you're at a comic convention and I'm on vacation. All right. I mean, I'm just going to keep up the theater. This of, is of the, the worst reviewed games of 2015. It's the worst reviewed games of 2015 so far. So far. They might, they might get way worse. Plenty of time for more turds a, in the rest a of the year. Lot of, a lot um, of... Yeah, the... the, the Video game industry is like a big old lower yep. intestine, and all this stuff comes out at the very end, right at the bottom of the year. This whole hour, we've been going through the worst review games of 2015 so far right here on IGN. Uh, we had F1 2015 that got a 4.8 out of 10 on IGN. We had Devil's Third, 3.5 out of 10 on IGN. Funka Titans, that's a 4.0 out of 10 on IGN. Raven's Cry, 3.0 out of 10 on IGN. And now we are at our last one. I want to bring up one, uh, one good point here. Rugby World Cup. 2015, the exciting sequel to Rugby World Cup 2014. In 2014, our reviewer called it painful, and he gave it a 2.0 out of 10 on IGN. And ladies and gentlemen, I have very exciting news. This year, in the lowest point in the, the Rugby World Cup franchise, oh 1.5 out of 10 on IGN, which we call unbearable. Now, that you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this real quick. We review a lot of games at IGN. Right. Over the last few years, we've kind of made a point to not review every game on IGN. We used to review every game. That's very taxing. It's not really worth our time sometimes. So there's so many games out there. So we generally kind of review a lot more games that you know people are hopefully excited for, which are sure. generally more po polished. It is not very often that we give out the prestigious Unbearable Award. That's a 1.5. I've only seen a score like that go out a few times in my career. Now, Nathan Lawrence. September 4th of 2015, just recently, gave this game a 1.5 out of 10. It's Rugby World Cup 2015. Max and I are going to play it for your amusement. I'm going to – one more preface. I know very little about rugby. I don't know any. I know. I don't know anything about the rugby. I'm not much of a sports guy. I've been to a bunch of hockey games. I love uh, basketball sometimes. I, I watch the Super Bowl, watch a bunch of dudes smashing each other. What's your UFC's favorite country? Really Italy. All right. For sure. There we go. There we go. There's my flag. Yeah, let's fight France. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, let's play, Actually, no, let's I like friends. Can, we, can you back out? Go back. What do you want to fight? I want to fight somebody that says they have great pizza, but they don't. There we go. Go down. Let's find somebody else here. New Zealand, Romania, Uruguay. What, like Samoa. America? You know who says terrible pizza? Vietnam. Vietnam? Okay. I've been to Vietnam. I've had the pizza. Great other stuff, but the pizza in Vietnam is terrible. Is Does Vietnam... Have a rugby team. <laughs> I don't think Vietnam has a rugby team. Apparently, Vietnam has. I'm gonna go on a limb right now. Scotland, your pizza sucks. Okay. You're going down. Italy versus Scotland in the pizza wars. This is it. Chip kick. Don't someone's forget that. Someone's gonna get real mad about this. Yeah, someone's Probably getting real mad. Probably a Scottish guy. So let's you know, gloves off right now. I know nothing about rugby. Neither does Max. Uh, we know this game is bad. So even if we were great at it, would probably not look great anyway. Uh, please memorize all of this, by the way. <laughs> you only have a few seconds. <laughs> this is the pizza war of Italy versus Scotland. I'm giving this to Italy no matter what happens here. Max, do not let me down. I need you to uphold my people's place in the world as the number one pizza makers on planet Earth. I'm real curious to see exactly how bad this game seems to us. Okay. In <laughs> spite of the fact that we don't know anything about like, Can we tell if it's a bad game or not? Because F1 apparently is not a very good game. Yeah. But we were like, it's a we're car like, game. It's, it's okay, a very right? technical game about some cars. Uh, okay. So far, I could make all of these graphics in Photoshop, which yeah. is usually like kind of a – like I'm not – that great at Photoshop, but this is not. I don't. I could do. I do something like this. Okay, myself. so here's what I'm gathering, and Why again, this? don't get mad at me. My my prediction here is that the point of rugby is to get the ball into that uh, square goal thing over there. But what if it's to get the the ball out of the goal? Is that a man? Look at that sweet ponytail he has. I think that's uh, Penn Jillette. How, <laughs> how are we still going through these? Oh, exit. I'm so okay. stupid. I'm sorry. All right, here, here we, we go. Are. All right, so this looks like uh, dumb American football, but I'm sure it's it's way smarter than that. There's there's real sponsors in this game. <laughs> okay. It's totally. Oh, you get in the get in the hole, get right in the goal. Oh, this dead. is weird. It's like soccer, but you have to hold it the whole time. Why does that guy get a helmet? Oh, we got a fourth and fourth and down there. I think we're in a scrum. Uh, they're telling you. I think they're telling you how fast the wind that is going. That man just laid an entire egg. <laughs> <laughs> are you playing as? Who are you playing as? 
I can't tell who Italy. Where is Italy here? The boy. The, I'm the blue boys. This is real bad. Which they're one am they're I? both wearing blue, Max. I can't, this is really. Oh, this is embarrassing for everybody involved. Uh, so 1.5 out of 10. Our review said, "Sorry, rugby pants this is a horrible rush release. Punted out the door in time for the World Cup, which I guess is happening or just happened. Probably. Game breaking bugs, incons inconsistent application of rules, and core gameplay loop is broken." So I got some bad news. I think I'm accidentally playing as Scotland. Okay, well then you can throw the game so Italy can win the pizza wars. Exactly. It's I'm great. okay it's with that. Work, it yeah, we got a man on the inside. Suck it, Scotland. Your pizza's uh, not good. So it, let's get a quick roundup of the uh, the Rugby World Cup 2015. Uh, it looks like in the replay, um, yep. John Hardy had a wicked googly, and he crammed that old spear right <laughs> over the crown, uh, showing... <laughs> Uh, Tommaso Allen, how okay. it's done. Finn Russell's up uh, this tournament time, and uh, he's kicking real bad because of that weird <laughs> the gout problem he had earlier this trimester. Now, uh, Michael Capinaro is, was uh, he was actually not going to play today because he stayed up last night making a real good baked rigatoni. <laughs> him, him and his wife had a big fight eating that because yeah. I knew we would have the last, uh, has the last chunk of that one. Finishing up this, uh, this quadroon, we've got uh, Damian Hasselhoff, <laughs> who is going to be making a run Straight for the old Richter's <laughs> Cavern down. <laughs> down. You have to throw. I think you have to throw the ball up. Over. <laughs> I, have no idea play. I have no idea to play. I uh, like everybody gets in a big we pile. We have the Rugby World Cup to announce that there's been foul play at a food truck. Hold on. It looks like Italy. Italy's up by ten inches in the personal pizza wars. That's a personal pie for every member of the team. <laughs> Scotland stays losing. When yep. it comes to pizza, man. Uh, and now for the uh, the mid-game conga line, the boys are lined up right together, and they're going to have to slap each other's hands together and say that everyone's a winner. Are we ready for it? Are we yeah, ready we're for doing the conga good. Line to get started, because yeah. Uh, it I mean, goes. I I I would just read chunks of this review. I uh, they, we just straight up destroy this game. <laughs> I don't really understand what's going on right here. Uh, rugby. I'm sure it's a great sport. I've heard it's like a way cooler version of of American football because it's way more violent oh. and the people don't you know uh, shoot dogs or anything like that. <laughs> Greg Scrum <laughs> got laid down by uh, Eduardo Gori. That's right. Eduardo Gori also didn't make, almost made the game today because he was trying to win the record for the world's largest lasagna I run, that he I, made with you, his I wife. Think my team won the scrum. By the way, I'm an Italian. If you couldn't tell from my, my lower thirds, my name down there that pops up occasionally, I'm allowed to make fun of Italian pastas because I eat a lot of them. That's why there's extra parts of my body that shouldn't be there, like in my big double chin and my big old bare belly. Am I winning? I think you're doing. No, you're not winning. Italy's winning. Am I? Am I kicking ass though? Is that you? <laughs> That's <laughs> this, me. I'm that guy. I mean, this seems like a good thing. <laughs> what are you doing? How do you score in this game? Do you, do you have to slam dunk it through the notch? You gotta have a wick. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh wow, a lot of tackles. You've got a Jiminy Cricket right through the the old basket. Weaver. Sean Lamont almost had a moment there. Uh, have you tried the score try? There's a score try button. Yep. Um, there's a, <laughs> you've got a, um, dilly dally the tambourine right up the madam's <laughs> old hoop skirt and get it <laughs> right down Lord Chamberlain's uh, favorite canyon. And that so is how you win a, a score. If you, if you are just tuning into eyes again right now, I don't know. I, you're probably so confused and angry. I'm really sorry. Uh, we're playing through the five worst reviewed games of the year right here, 2015 on IGN. So far, uh, this we game are, got a 1.5 out of 10. Uh, playing the Horton Here's a Who official video game adaptation. That's right. Uh, so, what? We we play this game to show you that uh, Scotland can never beat Italy in the pizza wars, and that's why it's a 10-inch pizza versus a zero-inch pizza in the scoreboard right now. Rugby is is a series of kicks, throws, punts, thrusts, bubbles, dags, and nabs. And you better get out there on the <laughs> and score all the I don't know what's going on. Uh, really I have no idea what's going on. You know what? The, mou the mouse is on screen. I'm calling <laughs> interference. The mouse cursor has gotten into the screen. Hold on. We got another point. Do we get another point? What was that? 13. That's a that's bigger than a 12 inch pie. That's a 13 inch pizza brought to you by Italy. Suck it, Scotland. I'm you sorry, can't but make we're, pizza. We are playing by personal pan rules, and it looks like uh, 
Johnny Gray is at it again. He's caused a big fight in the middle of the field, and he's going to be disqualified for an entire uh, an entire quarter. That's going to be it for the game today. W.P. Nell and Tommaso Allen, we're going to make up today by they're going to have a big bowl of pasta, and they're going to split the last piece of spaghetti with a big kiss. <laughs> Bullies, if you're mad that we made fun of rugby, well, we're hiding in your worst feared place inside of the bookstore. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to get us out of the bookstore, you've got to come in and fight the shopkeeper or burn the whole place down. And if you're wondering if you can kick our butts, you absolutely we can. Are bad we are at everything. weak. We're not funny. This we're weak willed baby boys, and we don't have thick tree trunk legs like big rugby players do. They can beat us. But you know what? I'm Italian, and I'm going to beat you in the pizza wars. So take it, take it to the, take it to Looks the like tea. Looks like you already won the pizza wars there. Buddy. Oh yeah, right here, my big belly, baby, yeah. big bear belly. I'm Brian Altano. This is Max Scoville. This was a very weird, very fun, very stupid special episode of Up at Noon, Not Exactly Live. We'll be back right here on IGN with another episode of Up at Noon Live, a real one where we do real things yep. at a desk, and you can get mad at us for other reasons then. Yep. Real Follow weird, me on Twitter. Stuff. I'm Agent Bizzle. This is Max Scoville. Follow IGN on Twitter at IGN. Make sure to tune into the show every single week on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, IGN. Use the hashtag up at noon live to communicate with us. I mean, just not right now because we're, we're kind of doing other things. But every week, every Thursday at noon Pacific time, you can find us right here making goofs, getting in trouble with Scottish people and the rugby players. Looks like Greg Laidlaw is at it again. He's stolen <laughs> the egg, and the ostrich is furious. Will Greg Law, Laidlaw es uh, escape the ostrich's uh, ire? Find out next time on Up at Noon. I have no idea how to play this game anymore. <laughs>